Chef Jesse Matz from Bunky's Cafe. Okay. I understand you get a, a fair amount of your stuff from the Dane County Farmer's Market? Yep, yep. Uh, stuff here that we have is the Swiss char, the mixed greens, the tomatoes, and spinach. And we're going to start with the roulade because the chicken is what takes the longest. So we're going to make the stuffing first. And a roulade means what? It's a flattened out chicken breast. And then you make the stuffing and you uh, roll it up in there. Start with the onion. Did you have that in olive oil or? Yep, extra virgin olive oil. Virgin olive oil, okay. Make sure you got a nice sharp knife always. Grape tomatoes and mushrooms. All our cooking is mainly done over a really high heat here. Oh, okay. It's all, try to do it fast. A lot of searing of the meats and the ingredients. Use a little bit of the wine in here. Oh, okay. Pepper, salt. This is a uh, steak rub. Okay. Give it a little more flavor. I'm going to take some fresh mozzarella. Blend it up. Now tell me a little bit about this chicken. Uh, it's a five to six ounce chicken breast, and it's just pounded flat with a uh, meat mallet. Okay. So that it's thin, and you can fill it and then roll it up. Okay, so just get a regular chicken breast. Yep. Um, I, I put it between two pieces of plastic wrap, wow. and then I just uh, take a, a meat mallet to it, and uh, it's. I did it ahead of time because of the noise. <laughs> Normally you would also cool down the, the mixture. Ah, okay. So that it doesn't do this separating thing that it's doing, but oh, we're just running a little bit. Time. So we so. should uh, take that and put that in yeah. the refrigerator? Yeah, let the, the ingredients cool before you mix it with the cheese. Gotcha. Usually. Well, that's interesting. Roll it. So you just roll it up. And then. So we'll do a little more of the herbs on here and get the pan hot. We're going to get it smoking hot. Imagine that chicken being that thin that it's, it's not going to take that long to cook. About, probably about 15 minutes okay. and our oven is at about 400 degrees. Oh, okay. To get this pan nice and hot. Well, that's getting hot. I'll start the tuna because that's our other meat. And this we're going to... Take some of the steak rub and get it all around on here. Beautiful. I'm letting these pans get smoking hot before we sear our see that. stuff off. Got some toasted sesame seeds. Actually, I'm going to put a little oil on here to help them stick too. Whether you're, whether you're hot or not. When it starts to smoke. When it starts to smoke. <laughs> yep. Okay. Then it's hot enough for a good sear. Gotcha. And the searing is key to keep the juices in the meat. Why does it flare up like that when you put that in there? What's burning off? It's basically a grease fire, hot oil and water. Ah, okay. And it's got a Pop this in the oven for about 15 minutes. Oh. Okay, so and you then just we got our other searing the outside of that yep. chicken to seal in the juices. Yep, and then popping it in and the oven. Put it in the oven. Okay. And do the same thing with the tuna. And then while that's getting nice and brown. We'll make our vinaigrette here. We're actually not gonna put that in the oven because it's gonna be served rare. Practic practically raw, almost like sushi. Ah, okay. So we got about eight ounces of red wine vinegar here. Cut up some red onion. Got some garlic. Sugar. A little salt. Pepper. And I'm just going to shut this off and just kind of let this cook a little bit. Need to add some mustard to this vinaigrette. Uh, some Dijon. A couple spoonfuls. I 
something that you would use on a construction site. I've seen ones that look big enough to be on a construction site. <laughs> One place I worked at, the mixer we had, just the handle part of it was like... Oh, is that, is that right? Yeah. So I found those two blenders to be really great to use. Mm -hmm. the fresh basil in here as well. And then we're, we mixed all of our stuff except the oil. The oil you gotta add it in slowly, slow stream. And then we're gonna add just some red wine, red cooking wine. And that's our vinaigrette. It's creamy. Beautiful. So with that done, we can start getting the ingredients ready for the salad. While the chicken is finishing in the oven and the tuna can rest, we're gonna do some red onions. Actually gonna try to shave them with a the knife. You could also do this with a mandolin if you needed to, if you can't get the thinness with your, by hand. Tomatoes. One more saute pan for the Swiss char. Uh -huh. you know, the, the greens that you buy as a, as a mix? No, they're a, they're a mixed. This okay. is the farm that we got these. It's Voss Organics. Oh, sure, Voss Organics. And that's where the Swiss char and the mixed greens are coming from. Oh, okay. Just throw some garlic and some Kalamata olives around. Mm -hmm. Spread around the onions a little bit. Yeah, it's a little too much on the onion. Fresh basil. Let's try, we're just gonna kind of cook it just like uh, as if it were spinach. Oh, okay. Just gonna saute it in a hot pan with some extra virgin olive oil, garlic, roasted garlic, preserved lemons. And now what are you doing with the stock? I just, I, you can you can leave it on, it's just a little a little tougher. Sure. So I'm just kind of cutting off the thicker part of it and cut it up a little bit, just so it fits in the pan a little easier. <laughs> all, all this Swiss char is gonna amount to just a small pile on the plate when it's done. It's amazing how that happens. Yeah. A little, little too much water on that. <laughs> Take some preserved lemon. The garlic again. Pepper, a little more of the wine. And we'll take it off the heat and throw some whole butter in there. I think our chicken should be done. Let's just make sure. Make sure it's cooked all the way through and it looks good. Swiss chair. Place up the roulade. Sicilian salad with tuna carpaccio with the red wine vinaigrette. I think we're done. Wow. So, pour a glass of wine and sit down and eat.
Thank you so much. Thank you.